People in Puerto Rico are struggling to find food, water, and a way to communicate with one another after Hurricane Maria devastated the island. Nearly three and a half million people are still without power, and ships carrying aid are arriving every day. 4,000 members of the U.S. Army Reserves have been deployed, and so has Indiana Task Force One. Jenny Runovich talked with Hoosiers that have family in Puerto Rico and how you can help in that recovery effort there. At Pia Urban Cafe and Market just east of downtown, Would you like room for free? Hoosiers can sample the flavors of Puerto Rico with island-grown coffees and authentic pastries. We really want to bring them, uh, give them an experience. Owner Maria Bertram grew up in Puerto Rico. Her parents and sister still live there. This past week has been emotionally trying. Usually you get by for granted that you can reach out to your family at any time. But the strong storm bearing her name has made it extremely difficult to connect. Most cell towers are gone. Maria wasn't able to speak to her dad and find out if they were safe until he borrowed a phone and found a spot with service on Friday. I was here at the shop and I was so excited. I was almost started crying because I was able to hear him on the phone. So I was very emotional. The shredded buildings and flooded streets are bad enough in Puerto Rico, but it's what you can't see that's really causing the problems for families. Water and power really goes out pretty quickly, and they're still waiting for that. Take a look at the power grid before and after the hurricane via satellite. Much of the island is now in the dark. That lack of power and cell service is tough on first responders, too. Indiana Task Force One arrived in Puerto Rico last night. But after posting these pictures on Twitter, they were back in a blackout, working rescues and helping victims without means of communication. The need here is great. It is a disaster zone. That's why Maria and other Hoosiers are planning donation drives to help their loved ones recover. I can see uh, the hearts and, and the desire to help um, our family in, in the great need from far away. So the biggest needs right now in Puerto Rico are water, canned goods, and emergency items like diapers and baby wipes. There is a collection drive set for this Saturday at Charney Park near 56th and Post. We have more information tonight on WTHR.com. And really, cell service, it is such a problem, John. I was actually texting with Captain Mike Pruitt with Wayne Township along with Task Force One today. And Mike actually, he had to stand on a mountain just to be able to get out one text no. and wasn't able to talk. We're hoping to talk with them later tonight and share that conversation tonight at 11. But it's tough on their work. You know, so many people have disaster fatigue. It seems like there have been so many here over a short period of time. But we have to remember these guys are working hard. Have they even been home? Uh, maybe one day. Yeah. It's from hurricane to hurricane to hurricane. So certainly amazing effort. Yeah, God bless them and what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jenny.